。接下来，请收看经典佛曲。There's a reason behind your birth. It's not by chance you're here on earth. Who you are is how you have been. The law of karma tirelessly spins. Just love.
empty was a butterfly. He roamed the world, fluttered his wings, and there flew high. He awoke from slumber and began to question why. He was no longer sure if he was a man or a butterfly. How can I be sure I'm not just dreaming? Can I be sure in a world that's ever changing? Like bubbles and lightning, the world is an illusion. Each fleeting moment is magic, deceiving our human vision. Everything's phenomenal, nothing's are not one. Seem. The young grow old, this earthly life is like a dream Yet amidst this illusion, snowmen of the truth supreme The enlightened mind can comprehend the unseen So why attach oneself to the material When this is not to stay forever and faces endless train of days Can science explain the reason of an encounter Why I should get to meet one and not another There are those who live just a stone throw away But somehow our paths did not lead us to say How are you today? Hope you have a nice day The greetings we send to someone Who is miles away Yen is the reason Why we are together Sister and brother Mother and father, yen is the reason why we are together. Husband, wife, friends and lovers. In life it is yen that brings us together. A friend I once knew only yet. Stranger, life is woven with the same principle everywhere. Yen is the reason I meet one and not another. Yen is the reason 
护持生命电视台就是护持佛法，就近帮助众生离苦得乐。所以，生命电视台有责任将佛陀的正法不分宗派传播在这个世间。希望各位多关心生命电视台，多护持生命电视台。护持正好一九九六五二三二，一九九六五二三二，户名生命文化基金会。
his wings and there flew high he awoke from slumber and began to question why he was no longer sure if he was a man or a butterfly how can i be sure i'm not just dreaming how can i be sure in a world that's ever changing like bubbles and lightning the world is an illusion each fleeting moment is magic deceiving our human vision everything's phenomenal nothing's are not what they seem the young grow old this earthly life is like and faces endless train of days can science explain the reason of an encounter why I should get to meet one and not another there are those who live just a stone throw away but somehow our paths did not lead us to say how are you today hope you have a nice day the greetings we sent to someone who is miles away yen is the reason why we are together sister and brother mother and father yen is the reason why we are together husband wife friends and lovers in life it is yen that brings us together a friend i once knew only yen stranger life is woven with the same principle everywhere yen is the reason i meet one and not another yen is the reason why we are together 
sister and brother, mother and father. Yeah, is the reason why we are together, husband, wife, friends and lovers. So let us sow seeds of good, yeah. Bring joy and peace to our fellow men. Life is short, we are told, time and again. So let us build a world of good, yen, my friend. Yen is the reason why we are together, sister and brother. Mother and father, yeah. We are in the digital age, still pursuing the highest level. Many people will share their favorite animals. Today, I also entered the internet. I'm going to perform a show of magic. I'm going to become a fish that is being swallowed by a giant shark. The vast scale of wealth is my last memory. 透过大师傅的接引，我来到了天堂。这里有许许多多不同遭遇的同伴，因为这里的慈祥安和，大家都过得很开心。而且这里的一切似乎都是真的，是真正属于我们的天堂哦。残酷无情的灌水牛，在山东，有一头从屠宰场逃出来的牛，像发疯似的，见人就野，逢人便撞。快跑啊！呃，他追上来了。这头牛为什么会这么疯狂？为什么会拼死逃出屠宰场呢？这还得从屠宰场说起。好了，打开水龙头。好的，我将它打开。水管插进鼻子里，并且还得通过鼻子往里面灌水，这滋味多难受啊！就这样整整灌了十分钟，牛开始大口大口地吐着水，吐到最后，甚至连绿色的苦胆汁都吐了出来。这真是生不如死的折磨啊！差不多了吧？牛都开始吐水了，还早着呢，至少还要再灌十分钟。行了行了，差不多了。原来这是一家黑心屠宰场，屠宰场老板为了增加牛肉的重量，而对牛进行灌水，以谋取暴利。这些牛在被宰杀前半个至一个小时内，都会被强制性的用塑胶水管从口腔处灌注大量的水到其体内。使其体内充满大量的水分，直到从其耳、鼻、眼、肛门等部位流出水来为止。通常，牛越大只，灌注的水也就越多。一些怀孕的母牛也因为灌水而导致早产，小牛就这样死在血泊之中。不要以为牛死了就解脱了，工人还会把牛的喉咙割开。气管剪开，再插上水龙头，又是一股劲儿的猛灌。一头牛在被宰杀后，还要再被灌水二十分钟以上，大约能灌三十至五十公升的水。差不多了吧？灌了多少水？差不多有五十公升。行了吧？这样一来，又能多卖个好价钱。
宰杀前通过鼻孔灌水，宰杀后再次强行灌水。这一切都是为了谋取更多的私利。灌水肉对人体的潜在危害很大，因为不法分子注入牛肉里的水，往往是污水，并混入物质，使牛肉里的纤维组织变质。不但肉质不好，易腐烂，口感差。而且营养价值也会大大降低。检验中发现，一些屠户经常使用旧的农药喷雾器给肉灌水，而喷雾器里会有农药残留。因农药残留度较小，吃了灌水肉后一般不会立即中毒，所以常被许多消费者所忽略。哎，你怀着宝宝，需要多补充一些营养。嗯，好的，我要多补充些，对我们的宝宝很有帮助的。吃了含有农药的灌水肉后，会导致残留农药在人体内积蓄，长期使用会导致基因突变，引发疾病，严重的甚至会致癌。如果是孕妇使用，还会引起胎儿畸形等疾病。这怎么会这样？啊！我的宝宝怎么会这样呢？这些黑心的屠宰场，为了一己私利，让牛在临死前遭受着生不如死的折磨。而这些牛肉流入市场后，还会威胁到人们的身体健康。故事开头的那只牛，就是因为无法忍受灌水时的疼痛而逃离了屠宰场，并发疯似的袭击人类，无疑的是给我们敲响了警钟。这告诉我们，不要为了个人的利益而滥杀无。因为动物是我们的朋友，我们要爱护它们，保护它们，而不是杀害它们、虐待它们。请爱护生命，善待动物。